Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Brief Tour of Eclipse. In this video, you'll learn about important eclipse terms, and you'll be able to find important features of eclipse that you'll be using to create web applications. First, let's have a look at a few important Eclipse terms. The primary Eclipse platform for building software components is known as the Workbench. What you'll see on the Workbench depends on the perspective. A perspective defines a collection of views that are typically used together when building a specific type of component and the layout of these views. A view is a window on the workbench that has particular features for completing a specific task. And finally, we're going to deal with the workspace. The word workspace has two meanings in Eclipse. First, the workspace is a folder on your hard drive that is usually the default location for saving your Eclipse projects. In addition, in a workbench view, the workspace is the set of currently opened Eclipse projects. Here we see Eclipse in what we call the Java perspective. Recall that what we mean by perspective in Eclipse is the set of views that are integrated together so that we can build a particular type of component. In this case, the views are the various windows that we see laid out in this perspective. By default in Eclipse, these are the views that are necessary to create basic Java applications. I can tell that by looking at the upper right corner and I see that that Java has been selected in my list of perspectives. For example, we have the Package Explorer view. This will show up in many of the perspectives. The Package Explorer provides a list of Eclipse projects that are currently open in the working workspace we can see that I have two projects open. The first, the one called Test, is a basic Java application. The second, called Web Demo, is a Java web application. In the Package Explorer, we can view the projects that are currently open and available for us to edit and work on, and we can actually expand to see the components that are part of each project. I can see in the Package Explorer that the test project has one package that includes one Java class and it also includes the JRE system library. In the Package Explorer we can also double click on a component that we would like to edit and this will open in the main window which is our editor. The editor is where we can type and make changes to any component that we have created as part of our project. One nice feature of the editor is the ability to double click on the tab which will bring it to full screen mode. We can double click to make it smaller again. You might also notice that the editor is color coded to show the different types of keywords or variables that we might have in our code. You can see other views that are part of this Java perspective. Another important one near the bottom of the screen is the console. The console is our default output for an Eclipse Java project. Output will display here when we use the Java command system.out.println in our code. Also in the console we will see messages from Eclipse and the Java compiler as we run our applications. The view on the bottom also has several other pages that we can select by simply clicking on the tabs. To see what we mean by perspective let's select a different perspective to see how things change. I'm going to click on Java EE up in the area to the right where we can actually select our perspectives. You might notice that there have been some changes. For example, over to the right, several of the views have disappeared. We can also note some additional pages in the bottom view. For example, there's a server view which will show us the server that we are running on. We still see the editor in the center which has our Java Eclipse 
tester class open. You can actually customize the perspectives as you see fit. For instance, in the Java EE view, I may not want to see the console, so I can click on it to get rid of it. Now I have customized this perspective for my needs. As I switch views, I come back to Java EE and it remembers my customization. So the Eclipse Workbench is fully customizable for our needs. Often students will accidentally close a particular view that they actually want in the perspective. So at any time that you want to get back to the default version, you can simply right click on the perspective selection and select Reset. It will ask you if you want to get back to defaults. Click Yes to do that and you'll notice that my perspective has changed back to a default view rather than the one I had customized. In actuality, the default view for the Java EE perspective does not actually include the console. I like to include the console because sometimes I like to print things there as I test my code. You can open a view and add it to the perspective by selecting Window. Show View and then select the particular view that you want either from those listed immediately or by going to Other for many more. I'm going to add the console view to the perspective. You also need to know before you start to work with Eclipse that there are many commands that we can access through the menu system. The commands available on any menu may change depending on what you're currently working with. Other commands may be accessed through the shortcut toolbar located just underneath the menu on the workbench. Any of the commands on the shortcut toolbar can also be accessed through menus, but usually they're a little quicker on the toolbar. It's often best to get the command that you need by simply right-clicking over in the Project Explorer on the item that we want to work with. For example, if I right-click on Hello World.java, we see what is often called a context-sensitive menu, where Eclipse has tried to anticipate what commands we are likely to use with a Java file. These menus will change depending on what you've clicked on. So, now that you know the parts of the Eclipse Workbench, you're ready to get started. The primary reference for this video was the Eclipse Foundation website at eclipse.org. This is the go-to site for all information concerning the Eclipse project. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy Production.